Good morning, happy Sunday. I'm Liz Bailey, owner of the paper crafting business, My Elegant Cards, and welcome to my live. Today I'm going to be showing three cards using the Corner Bouquet stamp set from Celebration, which you can get for free with a $50 order. So it's a it's a good it's a great deal celebration it ends at the end of february so you've got a month to get all your freebies they're mostly their 50 dollar freebies but there are a couple that need a hundred dollar order but if you buy them a few at a time it's not so bad well, that's what i do anyway um so that's what i needed to tell you that um i'm working on a live and um an online live class no, that's not right. Online class that I'm going to send out uh, the details of probably tomorrow. And I would be sending out the packages towards the end of February. So uh, look for information on that. So let's get started with today. All right. Um, I'm going to turn you down so that you can actually see what I'm doing, which might be helpful. Okay, so I have learned that if I turn you turn this down first, you end up looking at the lights above me, which uh, is not such a great idea, is it? So I have you get to have a quick look at my inks. Okay, is that good? Is it gonna stop moving? Yes, I think it's good. Perfect. Oh yes, I should put my glasses on. Take these off. These are just my distance glasses, which isn't much use here. So here is the stamp set. Um, it's fairly small. I've already priced it up for a BOGO whenever that happens. Um, and I'm also using the sweet ice cream set because I love these sentiments. They're just they're just nice typeface. So that's here is what we're going to make with it. So this is a, as you can see, a very simple, just using one stamp and the sentiment. And also the Oso Ombre paper that I was using last week. And I didn't use the Granny Apple Green, so I thought it seemed like a good idea to start with that. Then I use my stamp apparatus and the smaller uh, bouquet and stamped it in the corners, trimmed it up, added a few little extra bits and there I get a fair, well, I was gonna say masculine birthday card, but I don't know about the purple. But anyway, birthday card. And then I did a, another thank you, as you can see, using this again it's a really nice set and i just made a very simple card added a bunch of rhinestones to give it a bit of uh, pizzazz and that was it so if you place an order with me of 25 bucks i will send you this package which contains well not this package i'm going to use this package but one exactly the same as it and it has what you need to make these cards. So let us, I've lost my thank you. No, I haven't, here it is. Let us make the first card. So you go down to the first card base and that everything on top is what you would need to make this card. So I'll just, Move that out of the way, open up my granny apple green, like so, and I've already got ink on myself, oh well, that's half of the fun of it, isn't it? Do I want it that way or that way? Mm. Somehow it feels better that, that way, and I've lost my, uh... oh well, I usually have a piece of paper on top to protect this but as you can see it doesn't always work <laughs> so we'll be fine right so we need to ink this up and it's so large it's easier 
Please listen to it the other way up. Looks like it needs rethinking, doesn't it? So to pay attention to that later. Right, and I will just put this down. some re-inking and then we'll just ink up the sentiment I did mention this was particularly easy didn't I so the sentiment and move that over there I'll need it later okay let's just clean it off with a chamois for now right, that's good then all we have to do is mount this on the card. About the fastest card you could make. So if you need to make a lot of thank you cards, this would work well. And if you get bored with it this way, the green way round, you can turn it over and do Blackberry Bliss. I mean, it's, it's very versatile. So line this up with looking at the space here and here at the corners to try and make it really in the middle then that one there we are so there is our first card i don't know should we bling it up for maybe something or what we got Why not? Uh, I don't know though. No, maybe not. Might be overkill. Okay, so that's that one. So let's get what we need for the next one down to the first part, to the card base. That's what we need. As you can see, I don't trust my stamping when I can't actually look over. So. I cut myself a spare one. Right. Stamparatus. This is also big. It's the same size as the card base because 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 I want to be able to trim the edges so that you get I don't have to worry about whether I'm right at the edge, so I go further over the edge and then I can just trim it back and it will look good at the edges. I'm sure that didn't make sense, but um, you'll get the idea. Right, so let me move these things out of the way. Put one of those under there. Now, check yeah so it's about here I think is it yeah so if I put it in that and then push this off push that off it's much easier to push than it is to pick it up This is shaded spruce. Which I have re-inked recently. So, as you'll see, it's all the way to the edge. I could do with a bit more, I think. So we're not going to have a little border, because I didn't want one. Now we just move these around, put this one here, push this on there, and on there, and just go around again. I do love my stamparatus. Just give it a minute. Yeah. 
since I re-inked the other one. This one now looks a bit pale, so voila. I think it needs more re-inking. I guess I use this colour a lot. So then you keep going around putting the, the uh, corner in the same place. Uh, oh, right. out of the way. There we are. So because we have these gaps, I'm going to add a little bit more. Oops. does it because it's not a photopolymer like so there we are and now we need to cut it down so that it fits on the card base so that Five and a quarter, so I don't actually want to. I'm going to cut um, an eighth off each side so that everything gets slightly trimmed. Otherwise, well, it would just look lopsided if I cut a quarter of an inch off one side. So One more to go. And there we are. Interesting looking strips, which I can't think of anything to do with. So I'll just toss them. And here is our card base. Uh, our first layer to go on our card base. So you can see it now fits. And the greenery goes all the way to the edges. So that's a very easy way to fix that. So let's adhere this to our card base. Which side do I make sure we this side? So we'll put it on here. Uh, yeah, of course it's the same. Okay, that's that. And then we need the gorgeous grape. Got glue all over the place here. <laughs> and our happy birthday from the sweet ice cream. See if we can get this straight. I'm kind of guessing. Uh, yep, looks good. And this one does have some uh, little rhinestones.
looks like I need to buy some more. Oh, what a shame. I'll have to place an order. <laughs> uh, it is exciting getting a, an order from Stampin' Up. I've got one that has, I think it's coming out of quarantine, so I can open it later, which will be nice. Then I can play with the new stuff. I can't even remember what I ordered, so it takes about um, eight days from when I order it, and then I leave it in quarantine for about three days, so by the time it is safe to open, I've completely forgotten what I ordered, so it'll be a nice surprise. Okay, and I'm going to pop it up on some dimensionals. A little too oh there they are. Scissors. Just gonna take this um edge piece and put it at the edge. It's used to being at edge, you see. see. And then We'll get another strip like that, about there I think, and we don't need the, well yeah we could use that, and just strip off the edges, oh, I do love doing that, it's so efficient, now I just need some in the middle to stop the sag, we are. Now it obviously doesn't need all those um, dimensionals to hold it to the card so let's just strip off the long ones because as I said they're easy and there we are. We place this in the middle of our card. So you scrape. That's good enough. So press that down, and here is our card. Well, we are making fast progress, except I need a bit of a thing to. Oh, here it is do the trimming. Oh, and I've got the spare one for later. Good. So, well, let's stamp the thank you and see if I get a spare one of these as well. I mean, usually I stamp it and then cut it out, but I don't think you need to watch me running backwards and forwards and uh, or getting out my embossing machine and embossing things. I'm sure you know how to do that. <coughs> okay, so now we're going to do this card, which is um, unexpected, I would say. It's a different way of using things. Uh, it's a bit grubby, isn't it? Let's clean up the edges. Alright. So, shaded spruce again. And, yeah, hang on, let me clean that first. Let me put that there. Put that there. Now I can do what I want. Actually, I don't want this because I'm going to stamp off the edges. So, I just like to turn them around so they're not all facing the same way or going in the same direction. we are. We are done with this. 
Let me go back to our gorgeous grape and these little flowers, I guess. shower today oh, oh well it will come off as I do washing up or something I'm sure <laughs> and I mean to craft this afternoon so I'll get more messy anyway so who cares I'll just put this down the here so it's going down the edge There we are. Then we are going to pop this up. Oh. Okay. You apparently want to be used. So put one there. And that piece. stuck to my fingers so I guess they want to be on this card so all right fine there you are so take some of these off dropped a few right and then we add the sentiment like so, and then we get out our rhinestones again. And put them in the center of the little flowers. If you would please share this video, I will put you in a raffle, which I will draw next week of all the people that share, but you may need to tell me that you shared it. Someone shared last week's and I couldn't see who they were because of their privacy settings. So I can't send them a prize, even though that they won because they were the only one that, um, that shared it. So please, if you do share it, which I really would appreciate, if you can let me know that you did so that I can put you in the um, in the raffle. And I think the most I've ever had is six. But I often only have one or two people sharing it, which means you've got a really high chance of winning. So if you could do that, I'd be really grateful. So here it is. Here's our final card. So let's just pull in what we made. We made that and that and this one. So I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope that if you would like to make these cards, place an order with me of $25 using the host code that's above this video. And I'll send you the package of what everything you need to make these. So thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you next week. Thanks. Bye.